Show me. Show me what I got. They said whenever I get on, I start shuffling papers and shit. I be having notes in front of me. Cue cards and such. Announcements and such. Just like your news, uh, your newsman. You be seeing him, you be there shuffling his little shit. Let me get my shuffles off, man. I know it's getting late and you gotta go home. Hey, all right, it's showtime. Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. He said they was ready to rumble. <laughs> I was in the cut, man, smoking good reefer, just watching niggas act like niggas. What's good? He said, I'm from Cleveland, Gully. I'm salty as fuck. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. He said, old fools. Old fool. <laughs> good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, they playing the hits now. He said, Cleveland, hold this L. That shit was funny as hell. That shit was funny. He said, Gully, it was crazy. That shit was funny as hell. It's already, 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 already up there. Uh, <laughs> all the videos went up an hour ago. They still get that on. Funny as hell. He said, stop laughing. Man, that shit was funny as hell. That shit was funny as hell. Hold on. Give y'all the playback. <laughs> Before we even get started, you ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage. Like straight the fuck up. Nigga, suck my dick. And pass your boo. Suck my dick. Jesus. Like, I'm gonna put the fuck up. You ain't gonna hate it. Pass it, bro. You ain't gonna hate it. You must have checked your pants. You ain't gonna hate it, nigga. Fuck that. You bitch ass nigga. The fuck do we have here? <laughs> He said they just bought out Terrence Howard and killed that shit. He said Busy was mad at Gangsta Boo. <laughs> he said Busy got to leave, leave the pills alone. He said, hey, hey, you ugly motherfuckers ain't going to be on stage mocking me. He said Busy got to leave the pills alone. Terrence Howard killing his shit. <laughs> In the movie, it was kind of cheesy. On stage, it's a little bit. It's kind of dope. It's kind of dope. He said they had so many special guests. Bone ain't no joke. They made a Gambino call the police on them. They don't play play in Memphis. If it really went down, Bone not ready. Three Six Mafia pulling out all the punches. I mean, it's entertainment, man. I didn't expect them to bring Terrence Howard out, and he actually know his fucking bars. He know his verses, so they probably been um. He probably had been rehearsing for this shit. Oh. I'm going to talk about it later, but they arrested somebody for the murder of Jackie Avant. I'm pretty sure you already know. He said only song he had, he better remember it. So who, who y'all got so far? He said, boys, the boys won an Academy Award with that. It did go far. Hustle and flow was the shit. He said, busy was high or something. 
He said they had to perform it. They won an Oscar. <clears throat> Grammy Award winning. He said, I didn't get it. Did they have beef back in the day? I don't know where all that acrimony came from. I don't know where that, I don't know where all that came from. I don't. <laughs> It was good to see Terrence Howard come out. He said that shit was drug related. I know. I don't know what that was about. He said we need that 38 special piece. That's by uh, that's being direct, directed by Fully Focused Films. I think that's going to be out um, early 2022. He said I wasn't even born yet. 36 executing better. Three six probably they probably perform a little bit more than Bone these days. He said Bone is the Bone is the only group with songs with Big and Pop. Subscribe to the channel. Bone Thugs and Harmony versus Three Six Mafia. I can't believe they set it off like that. That's gonna be trending tomorrow for sure. I'm pretty sure it's already up on Twitter. Y'all like the video. He said, I follow Busy Bone on the gram. He's not playing. Who y'all got winning? Um, from what I've seen thus far, I got 3-6 kind of winning. And I picked Bone to win, but I thought Bone, I thought Bone had a little bit more, man. They playlist and shit, it ain't. I don't know. They trying to battle with their radio hits. He said that fight was some WWF type shit. <clears throat> nah, that was for real. He said it's a landslide for a landslide for three six. Yeah, I got three six running away with it right now. Shout out to Memphis. Memphis is really really high profile in the business right now. Rest in peace to uh, to Young Dolph. Minnesota Money Boss, check out his um his episode on my podcast, The Dribble, The Real Dribble. Check it out. He said them cats a bunch of bammers. Juicy J invited homie to his Frank stand. I knew once that happened, it was gonna go somewhere. I knew it was serious. I knew it wasn't rehearsed. He said, man, they knew Busy was wrong. Bone Thugs didn't defend him. With that type of uh with that type of spunk coming out with that type of type of energy, I would have think they would have it would have been he would have got more support, put it that way. He said they brought out A Ball and MJG. They shared this look that's big for Memphis. That's how you do it. That's how um I believe Cameron should have did with the dip set. He said Busy was wrong. How? Because he called them niggas ugly. <laughs> how you gonna strike? How you gonna start off the battle by calling them niggas ugly, man? Ugly ass niggas. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a blatant attack. <laughs> That's a blatant attack. That's one of my lines. <laughs> he said, somebody on stage said Bone is better without Busy. <laughs> he said he threw the mic at a, at a female he said he the best one out of bone performance wise he got he definitely got the um the distinct the, the distinctive voice he said it's the smack bro it's 
Swizz B said Busy tried to bite him. <laughs> he said, you can't tell dudes from the 90s to SMD. He said, Bone Thugs played out, nobody harmony rap no more. The shelf life on 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 the the harmony part, the singing, and the, it probably had a time. It probably it probably was a little bit novelty. I know them niggas sold a lot of fucking records. He said, "Busy smoke wet." They should be rich. Good evening, everybody that's here. They arrested a man with the murder of Jackie Avant, and I told you he's a nigga. Um, he should be he should be tortured when he get where he going. He should he should have no rest when he get where he going. If he going to the L.A. County Jail, they should just feed him to the population. He said, Wayne don't do shit for nobody. He came out for 3-6. That was big, too. You the only person picking bone to win right now, man. 3-6 um, performance sound a little bit better to me. They song sounds a little... He said, this shit was great. He said, that's why they losing. I'm sorry. Yeah, too many of that harmonizing and shit, man. Not for no battle. Maybe for a family reunion. You see, I'm trying to vibe with it, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. He said, in your opinion, what you think the young, younger gener generation listening to Bone Thugs or 3-6? Probably 3-6. 3-6 probably got uh, more recent works out. They would be more familiar with 3-6 for sure. Juicy J is still a um, a name that people hear and he out here in the music industry working so he said it's not there. Nah man that ain't what's up right there man. He said bone too smooth to go against 3-6. I liked it a couple of uh, Bone songs. I liked it uh, the first of the month. I liked it for the love of money. I think that was Bone's best song for the love of money. What was they one? Thuggish, Ruggish Bone was the one that they went famous for. He said, I love Bone though. Shout out to Cleveland. I got a lot of Cleveland followers in the building. He said because Easy was on it. Easy was on it, but nah, it was just a dope song. The um, the production on For the Love of Money was dope. It was dope. It was dope. It was sly. You can play that shit now. That shit still. He said, bro, what's the name of the song? Y'all just gonna not tell a nigga the song? I have no idea what the name of that song was and shit. Um... I seen Bone in concert before too. I don't know they body of work like that. I don't. He said Swizz dissing Bone on IG. I want to hear lyricism, not harmonic, harmonize, harmonizing. 
If I wanted to hear harmonize and I would listen to, to Silk, exactly. You know, nobody want to hear that at no battle. They gotta read, they gotta lay down the, the they gotta lay down the rules. They gotta make sure people is familiar with the rules all over again. And if you come to a battle and start a fight, <laughs> you can't follow it up with no singing and shit, man. You gotta be singing some, you gotta do something else. He says, somebody said Bone Thug should have battled Jagged Edge. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He said, Gully, just say they trash. They not trash. I just was never a, a, a big fan of them. I liked it um, for the love of money. Um... The concept in the song First of the Month, I could relate to it. Everybody can. Thuggish Ruggish Bone, that song. It's the Thuggish Ruggish Bone. I, I wasn't on it like that. I, just, I was in high school when that shit was out. I wasn't on it. I wasn't. I swear I wasn't. I didn't buy it. He said Bone was in their own lane. He said, they even pulled out Knife Talk with 21 Savage, 3-6, still, still relevant. That's what I was trying to say. He said, Bone is outdated now. That's all. 3-6 brought out a dancer and Lil Wayne for bands and make her dance. Yeah, that'll end your night in the battle. Bone couldn't bring out easy. www.therealdribble.com. Three six music just sound more recent, a lot more recent. He said, "Here it go." Their music just sound a lot more recent. It sound like you heard it on the radio recently. Bone running out of songs. He said, "Damn, I slept on three six. Highest selling group ever, Bone Thugs and Harmony. He said, 3 6 is basically a bunch of Tony Yayos. What you mean by that? I like the Tony Yayo. Y'all didn't fuck with Tony Yayo? I like the Tony Yayo's music. I bought his, uh, his solo album. I did. I liked it. He said, Bone was singing the whole night. Cool G Rap versus Raekwon. He can't win. Kwani Bing, I appreciate your donation. He's, he's sending straight to Cash App. Never met you before, but you around. Makes more sense to me. I like Yale music. Me too. I didn't get the comparison with the Tony Yale and the 3-6. Who won? In my opinion, I had I, I was going for Bone. Um, I thought Bone was going to win it because I ain't all the way. I didn't think I was all the way familiar with Three Six Mafia's music until I started hearing it. I'm like, man, I know all these joints. <laughs> he said they perform at Crossroads now. Cash money, no limit. That's nice. He said, them North Memphis niggas went through the crowd. Somebody got snuffed. 
we gonna see that uh that that little scuffle that broke out that's definitely gonna be viral i'm pretty sure there's memes everywhere busy bones gonna he, let me see is he trending yet My man said, Bone Thugs and Harmony music is for the depressed. On Twitter, I don't think fans really knew how to appreciate a song like Notorious Thugs. Three Six Mafia and Bone Thugs and Harmony face off in the latest versus battle. And of course, the scuffle was trending. 4,596 tweets. L, L, I didn't catch your name. I'm at I am Gully TV underscore on, um, on Instagram. You can hit me up over there. My email address is Gully TV Boss at Gmail. He said, Busy always took the game personal. Definitely wasn't no fake fight. They had beef back in the day. Busy Bone dissed them on Notorious Thugs. It was on beef. William Harris, I appreciate your super chat. I think Tech Nine can get busy with it, with Busta and the verses. What you think? I ain't down with Tech Nine music all like that. He got a he cultivated his own little following, and he's just somebody who went under the radar. I don't. I ain't never met nobody black that listened to his music. I haven't. Anybody in here listen to Tech Nine? He said Buster got too many hits. Yes, Wayne came out. No. He said not on purpose. No, he said Gangstar versus Mob Deep would have been bananas. That do sound like that would have been dope. Subscribe to the channel. 3-6 Mafia and Bone Thugs get in the, into a scuffle. Dick Talk, Frank's, Frank Stans was involved the whole nine. He said Tech Nine, Big Out West. I never heard nobody from Out West Black listen to him. He said, you knew the answer to that and you had, I'd never heard, I'd never heard a Tech Nine song for real. I, I haven't. F I was, Flow Rider was similar. I, I'd never heard them nigga songs. I seen that nigga in person before. That nigga big as fuck. He said, Tech got a crazy fan base, but I can't say I know one member. He said, he like God out in Kansas City. Tech's still big as fuck in the Midwest. Got family out there to listen to him. Oh, okay. No disrespect. He said Tech was in the regime with Young, young Mouth. I knew that, but I still wasn't hip to his playlist. There's been an arrest and the murder of Jackie Avant. I wanted to, I was going to make this live stream earlier and I was going to ask y'all, when is it a, when, when is it an appropriate time to snitch? When is there an, is there ever an appropriate time to snitch? He said, when you're a civilian. 
What about tasteless crimes? What about when an 81 year old gets murdered in her own home? He said, if you're a civilian, it is snitching. Man arrested in the death of Jackie Avant. A 29-year-old 20 man has been arrested in the death of philanthropist Jacqueline Avant, who was fatally shot this week at the Beverly Hills home she shared with her husband, leg legendary music executive Clarence Avant. Ariel Maynard is currently on parole and was taken into custody early Wednesday by Los Angeles police at a separate residence after a burglary there. Police recovered an AR-15 rifle at the home that was believed to have been used in the shooting. He shot an 81-year-old with an AR. He accidentally shot himself in the foot with the gun, police said, and is being treated before he can be booked into jail. Authorities do not believe there were any other suspects in the Avant case. Police have not yet determined Maynard's motive or whether he targeted the Avant home or was it a random attack. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. And he didn't know what the fuck he was doing with the AR. That's how he got caught. He was in somebody's backyard wounded. He said he wasn't a bright one. He deserved to get served up when he he should get no decency when he get where he gone. He shouldn't. He said, damn, they caught him quick. The type of community that, that someone like the Avance would live in is gonna be crawling with security. Home security, security, security on light poles, um, gate gated communities, like the, the whole shit. AR-15. Don't make sense unless he was some type of junkie or something like that. They wasn't going to play around with somebody of that magnitude. Not in Beverly Hills and shit. Like, there's other people in their 80s to live in that neighborhood. You know they was going to raise hell about that shit right away. He said, why he do it? I hope it don't be no funny ass conspiracy shit, you know, like with the Michael Jordan, when Michael Jordan's father got killed. Like people suspect that them niggas didn't do it or it was something different than what it was or some shit like that. He said somebody paid him for that. Who the fuck takes an AR-15 on a solo home invasion robbery? That sound like a hit. He said he tried to break in another crib. Yeah, he was in their backyard bleeding and shit. Shot himself in the foot. He said he skipped over all them rich people for them. Omega Sun's light, peace. Long time no see. He said probably wrong house. There's a story about a dude from Cali and shit. His name is Little Fee. He like a notorious figure out there. It's like blogs and shit about him. He killed some people in a house. He responsible for killing some people in a house. Some black people, I believe. And them niggas, I believe, went to the wrong house. He said he didn't hit the house by mistake. So he's walking around a gated community with, uh, with an AR-15 looking for random houses to rob. Don't sound right. He said hit the like button. Will you? She killed the NBA dude's family. Subscribe to the channel. Good morning, everybody. It's about to be 1 a.m. on the east. It's about 9 something, 9 and change on the west. He said, I hope Clarence's hands clean. 
yeah, I hope don't nothing happen to his legacy, and I hope he ain't involved or implicated in this shit in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Uh, AR-15 and then a robbery, like, wasn't nothing taken? I don't know. I don't know. Who the fuck takes an AR and you're going to do burglaries? It just don't make sense. He said, you can tell it was a his it. Avant got a lot of mob to his eyes. I figured out um, some things to remember when you fucking with this algorithm. Um, they sent me a, I don't know, I won't call it a notification, but I ended up reading everything that, that, that's contained within the YouTube rules that'll get you violated. This is what will get your, your video demonetized. Cussing. Cussing. Cussing will get your, your, uh, your video demonetized. Inappropriate language, violence, adult content will get you demonetized. I believe that's probably, um, you know, probably porn or some shit. Shocking content will get you demonetized. Harmful or dangerous acts, hateful and derogatory content, recre recreational drugs and drug-related content. They be demonetizing me for smoking blunts on here. Probably do the same thing to Yuck Mouth, but we getting hip now. Firearms related content, controversial issues, anything of, of any type of country, they, they, ain't, they ain't fuck with it, any type of controversy. Sensitive events, I don't know what would be considered a sensitive event, maybe September 11th or something like that. Enabling dishonest behavior, I don't know what the fuck that mean. Tobacco related content, smoking cigarettes, adult themes and family content, and incendiary and demeaning content. I don't know. I'm thinking um that 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 clip of Busy Bone cussing ugly motherfuckers, homeboy replies, suck my dick. You get flagged for all of that. Let me get you out of my chat. Your name is Main. I want every, I'm gonna say your name so everybody remember you before I kick you out. It's 12.30 at night, you acting like a fucking child. So we gonna kick you and your emojis out of the chat forever. You ready? I holla at you. You're out of here. Kap how you like that for sarcasm? Do you like that? <laughs> oh, man. He said, yo, Little Flip came in with a freestyle and said, game over. He said, so IG turned the algorithm on. They going to do that to anybody. Any, any type of abusive uh, language or profanity. He said he's just gonna have to come back with another account. If he come back, I bet you know he act like he got some sense. He said, Fat Joe about to have the best stories about last night. Yeah, we looking forward to Fat Joe recap tomorrow for sure. Early in the morning. UGK versus A Ball and MJG. You can't do that because Pimp C ain't living. A Ball and MJG for the win, though. A ball at MJG for the win. He said, that's why everyone is on Twitch. He said, Fat Joe's stories are dope, but they don't always add up. Stan Walker, what's happening? It's 800 people here. Like the video. Good evening to everybody. There was a man arrested for the murder of Jacqueline Avant. When is it? When is there an appropriate time to snitch? If we if we had some information on this, if you, I know what I would have did if I had some information on this. This Jackie Avant thing. Let's just say my neighbor did it, and I got hit. I tell on him. I tell on him. You don't deserve no decency. You don't deserve no decency. You don't deserve. You don't deserve nothing. You don't deserve no decency. You don't deserve no consideration. 
nothing. You deserve to be tortured. 81 years old. Can you imagine the things that that woman went through at 81 years old? 81 years old. She went through civil rights, all types of racism, Ku Klux Klan, 16th Street Baptist Church bombing, the murder of Medgar Evers, the murder of Dr. Martin Luther King, the, the murder of Malcolm X. She went through all of that, seen all of that, and got killed in her home by a fucking monkey. He should get served as soon as he get to where he's going, for real. It shouldn't be a car he can hide in. It shouldn't. For real. Payroll. He shouldn't get no decency. And we telling on this bitch ass nigga. He said, I'm a square. I don't mess with the police. It's too much going on, man. It's too much going on. It's too much going on. It's too much. We need the police. We need the police. We need policing. We don't need the police to kill us, but we need the police for situations like this. Ain't y'all glad that someone was arrested for this shit? He said, what's his age? He's 29. He got a lengthy career criminal type fucking, um, you know, jacket. He on parole. He said, we need to police ourselves." People who pass for white, like Jackie Avant, used to discriminate against blacks. Dating Clarence Avant, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. I'm pretty sure with her fair complected skin, he sent her to, do, he worked her like a Hebrew slave. He sent her to do the negotiations. Places he couldn't go, people he couldn't talk to. You know, he's dark skinned. He's a nigga. Baby. Pretty sure she was trained like a motherfucker. Pretty sure she was super thorough. She's a philanthropist. He said, you sound like a real cop. Eat my dick. Police ever told you that? You ever heard that one? And I'm kicking your ignorant ass out my chat. It's zero tolerance on this topic. Zero tolerance. So yeah, let me get your monkey ass, your monkey gangster ass up out of here. The fuck up out of here, bozo. Niggas kill me be trying to uh, enforce street policy on real life issues. That woman was 81 years old. Get your goofy ass up out of here, clown. You need to know you're not thorough and you're an outsider. You're not one of us. You don't even belong in this chat because you got different views than the rest of us. We empathize with this black woman. She's 81. She's 81. So your monkey ass is kicked out of my chat forever about your twisted way of uh, viewing things. Holla at you. Rest in peace, the great Jacqueline Avant. Did a lot of philanthropy, philanthropy work. And um, not only that, she's the wife of legendary music executive Clarence Avant. Who was Clarence Avant? He started the first metropolitan radio station, the first black metropolitan radio station in Los Angeles. He brought radio to Los Angeles. He said that was a ducked up move. He deserved wherever he get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him on a shelf and then get dogged in jail, man. Niggas need to be getting dogged in jail for shit like that, man. This motherfucker need to get dogged, man. Put shit in his food, man. Put Dookie in his food and all that type of shit, man. Just dog him. He said, remember your granny used to say, if you're shame, you shouldn't have done it. And it kind of kept you from doing certain things. Now there's the, Nowadays, there is no shame. The Black Godfather, Clarence Savant, pioneer. Yeah. Twenty-nine-year-old dude breaking in the homes. He ain't got a family. I don't know if I'd tell. I'd probably body him. All right, all right, all right. If you ever seen um, 
I think, uh, I can't remember the talk show Cameron was on. Cameron said if it was a serial killer living next door to him, and he knew that he was killing people, he wouldn't tell them. <laughs> Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Check this, he said Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, it was Bill O'Reilly. Cam was kicking Bill O'Reilly's ass that night, but that question he fucked up. He went way, he went way south with that. That was just bad. Listen, right? There's a documentary out on, um, it's on Tubi TV or one of those joints. It's about Jeffrey Dahmer. I watched it recently. I ain't no Jeffrey. I was a kid when Jeffrey Dahmer was doing that shit. I was in like the eighth grade. I didn't know he was killing so many black folks. Jeffrey Dahmer killed a whole bunch of niggas. He only killed like three white people. He killed a whole bunch of niggas. And um, if he lived next door to you and you smelling all this goddamn flesh and these... You, you hearing power saws going on? You ain't going to tell the police? You ain't going to say nothing? Man, you... something smells funny than a motherfucker in my neighbor's house, man. <laughs> he said, gully, you late. Man, I didn't, know the, I didn't know that it was all the black people, man. Oh, I didn't know that, man. You know what I'm saying? I did know that. I did know that. I did know that. I'm like, oh my goodness, man. He, it was almost like he had a preference. He didn't want to eat your flesh unless you was a nigga. He liked the dark meat. He said, yeah, don't nobody want to say anything until they snatch their kids up or old lady up. Then you wish you told. Yeah. He said, what about the brother from Cleveland that had hella bodies in the basement? talking about him Charles Ramsey I bought his book I had to I had to it's a good ass book and he was real as it gets real as it gets but uh yeah this is crazy this is crazy crazy book His uh his neighbor, he, dude ended up killing himself. He ended up killing himself. Um when he got to jail, I think his name was Azrael or some shit, just like this dude who killed Jack Lee, Jack Will and Avant. He said, I gotta get that book. I loved him. Yeah, the book was good. It was hilarious. He said, I think it was, and nah, 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 nah. Charles Ramsey found them. The dude's name was Ariel. Ariel Castro. Ariel Castro. That was his name. Part B. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications. 3-6 Mafia and Bone. Get the scuffling at Versus. They the first to do it. First to take that nigga shit to the Versus stage. He said he saved that girl. Yeah. He said facts right on the west side of Cleveland. He said that match wasn't fair, to be honest. Why you say it wasn't fair? Bone Thugs and um, 
three six mafia they have like a you know a little history it was in correlation who started the you know the fast style rapping first He said Cam and Styles P almost came to blows. That wasn't that wasn't real. Castro was a kidnapper. The guy with the bodies in his house was Anthony Sowell. He stayed on 123rd and Imperial, east side of Cleveland. He was a serial killer. It was 3-6 Entourage throwing hands. Yeah, they kind of pressed the issue. They did. I took uh I took Bone initially, but after listening to the songs, shout out to Three Six Mafia. He said they both whack compared to real bars from up top. <laughs> he said this generation don't know about Bone. Thirty six more of a turn up. Bone more of a laid back vibe. It was a three-way beef. Bone Thugs, 3-6, Twister, and Do or Die. You could tell you watched beef before. Why is there no more prolific serial killers in the U.S.? What you call King Von and all these niggas? What you call all these niggas on the internet when people know they got five bodies and they didn't kill three, four months? After you didn't kill three, that's a serial killer, ain't it? After you didn't kill three or four, that's a, that's a serial killer. A serial killer, probably two, three serial killers in this motherfucking chat right now. It is. Why ain't they? It's 500 murders in Philadelphia. Police ourselves. Police, you jokers won't even make these rainless wonders who terrorize the civilians in the neighborhood. He said, my fam had five at 13. I hope that little nigga in the penitentiary. Sheesh. He said, leave policing to 5-0. Shut up. <laughs> He said, Lonnie David Franklin and Gary Ridgeway. Shout out to North Philly. It's, they, it's a channel up here um, about Philadelphia right now as far as the murder rate concerned. They got several teenage hitmen, 16 to kill five motherfuckers and shit like that. Like, one of them killed a motherfucker coming out CFCF. One of them killed a motherfucker right outside the jail. I said, man. Sheesh. Do you think that scuff will help versus or hurt it? It didn't hurt it. I don't think it hurt it. I don't think it hurt it. I don't think it hurt it. It was probably a battle that needed a little bit of excitement. So, you know. He said, yep, killed him on the bus stop. If we didn't have social media, we wouldn't be so used to killing. Someone that has five bodies would be big news in the 80s. My whole thing with that, right, with that type of lifestyle and those type of decisions, they only got to convict you of one to put your ass away forever and shit, so... Whenever you're doing that shit, you're rolling the dice against forensic science and a bunch of other shit. I like watching those shows like I almost got away with it because I be wanting motherfuckers to get away sometimes. But uh, it's just too much shit. You can't get away, man. They just, they, just, they just put a bank robbery on a motherfucker dead. They just put a 50-year-old bank robbery on a motherfucker, to a motherfucker who's dead. There was a dude from Cleveland, Ohio... Robbed a bank for $200,000 like 50 years ago. 
nigga went he went to up up to Boston, right outside of Boston in the suburbs, changed his name, got a job, lived a regular life for 50 years. He dead. He been dead two years. They just said last week he robbed that bank. <laughs> they just said last week he robbed that bank. He said, I think most murderers get away with it. I don't know, man. Uh, you get natural life for, uh, for murder in Pennsylvania. Like people from Philly, Pittsburgh, Erie, um, Harrisburg, Chester and all that. They know. You kill somebody, it, it, it can be your final breath out this motherfucker. He said, they do. Will you interview Hassan Campbell? I've interviewed Hassan Campbell, I think, at least twice. If you, you, I believe I was the first one to interview him out of the, you know, the black media outlets. I was the first person of, um, I don't know if he went to like, I was the first, like Draco. Yo, Gully, nobody can beat Northeast hip hop and versus facts. Ice Cube versus LL Cool J. We don't need no bi-coastal verses. We don't need no, we that, that don't end well. The bad boy versus death row ended up in murders and shit. We don't need that. My man said, I, I miss Alpo. It still doesn't feel real. Philadelphia pa passed a law to legalize streeteries permanently in some areas. The fuck is a streetery? Snoop and DMX. Cube versus LL would be epic. That is nice. Cube got hits, man. Y'all don't know. Cube got hits. Cube got hits. Cube got hits. Here's a little something about a nigga like me. Never should have been let out the penitentiary. Ice Cube would like to say, man, <laughs> Cube would be problems in a battle. Woo-wee. Choo-wee. Have you thought about trying to get that Harry O interview? I don't be chasing the street interviews no more. I don't think I ever chased them. But I don't be on them like that. They don't net very much gains. They don't. Everybody black be do trying to do a, a gangster interview and shit. I'm trying to interview a Iacocca or some shit. I need to interview a Iacocca. You know any of the Iacocas? Mark Cuban is some motherfucking body, man. I gotta kick this shit up a few notches, man. What's the? Uh, what happened to the boy from Facebook? I mean, um, MySpace. Tom from MySpace. I need to interview Tom from MySpace. I wonder what Tom is doing these days. He said Q will wash LL. I think Q probably got more joints than LL. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. He said Buster versus Eminem. They already said Eminem going to be, he would be a terrible versus. He don't got songs that people vibe to. What Eminem got that's going to have you do like this? He don't got them joints. Buster come out with that. This is serious. My whole time union is sit so dangerous, so dangerous. Man, <laughs> hold your breath. We're moving it from right to left. That shit, that shit hard to contend with, man. Like this video. It's almost 900 people here this evening. I appreciate everybody for coming through. A uh, 29-year-old, I don't know his nationality yet, was arrested for the murder of Jacqueline Avant. You fucking idiot. Who you think from the East Coast is a good match? Ice Cube versus Jay-Z or some shit like that.
He said, MySpace back up right now, real talk. I went over there and looked at that shit a few days ago, my, maybe like last week. That shit looks strange as hell. MySpace used to be the shit. He said, damn, it's Friday already. Time keep on ticking, ticking. Gully, you think the crime murders have skyrocketed since the virus? I think it probably was bad that people didn't have nothing to do, you know, when they started to shut schools down. And, you know, the, the, the whole COVID thing, it bottled things up. That might have made people a little bit antsy. I know the gang problem on the East Coast got way out of control. Chief Keith. P. Capes, I appreciate you. My man said Black Planet was lit. I won my old MySpace back. I got interviews with Drake and other celebs before they really was famous. Nice. Nice. Good evening. Golly, you didn't let prison make you institutionalized. I wasn't there long. I only had a three to nine. You don't got to get institutionalized in jail. Just continue to be who the fuck you is and shit. Like, I believe that in certain cities, that whole jail thing matter a little bit more than other places. I believe that people like try to wear that shit like that shit means something. And it don't, it don't. It mean you got caught. It was when you was heartbroken. Nobody was writing you. You was barely getting by. You know, it was just the low point of your life and shit. And I don't know why people wear it as a badge of honor. When I came here, I told you I was a prison basketball legend. That's true. I, that was true. But that ain't, that don't define who the fuck I am. That's not the first thing I tell motherfuckers about me or shit like that. He said, in New York City, that prison shit means some, believe it or not. That's why I, I said it means a little bit more in other cities. New York is one of the cities that it seems to mean something. He said, Gully in New Orleans, these idiots wear it as a badge of honor. It can affect you bad if you did a, did a stretch. Unfortunately, Baltimore. So y'all telling me that the jail niggas is the prestigious niggas where y'all from? Is that what y'all saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all running off y'all, 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 y'all naming y'all cities. Um, the jail thing it, it carries something in, the, in these these areas that y'all talking about. It means something. My man said not in D.C. Sorry. I don't know what the hell you talking about, fam. He said, where I'm from is athletes. Where I'm from is athletes, too. He said, everyone. I ain't got no problem with nobody that's in jail. I've been there. I ain't got no problem with nobody coming out of jail. I don't fuck with jail niggas. I don't. I don't fuck with jail niggas. I don't. I don't. I'll fuck with you when you get free and shit like that. 
I don't fuck with jail niggas. I told my last homie when he came home, I said, that's it. That's it. Like, you like the last one and shit, my nigga. Like, I'm not sending no more money. He said, what generation are you? I'm not sending no fucking more money to fucking jail. I'm not. I'm not. Niggas be having 10 coming home parties. Niggas be getting out of jail having parties. The fuck is you having a party for? You done did this shit like four times and shit. Like, I'm just not doing that. He said, Killer Kev love jail. Him, Some niggas do fucking love jail and shit, man. You need to cut them niggas off. Don't fucking call me. Don't call me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Don't fucking call me. Don't write me none of that shit. If you go, have your whole rotation together and shit. Because that's something we did when we was kids and shit. You shouldn't even be fucking going there. You shouldn't even be going there. It didn't. You shouldn't. Because it's a problem. You know what I mean? I don't like the uh, the burden that I put on my mom having to drive through the mountains and shit to come see me. Send me her money so I can go to commissary and all that stupid shit. Shit corny. And it's, it's just counterproductive. And, and if you fuck up and you got to go there, just get that shit over with and get 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 home. But I don't fuck with no jail niggas. I don't. I don't. Jail niggas don't do nothing but wish motherfuckers on the street bad. They wish motherfuckers on the street bad. They wish motherfuckers on the street. They, nobody starts more rumors than jail niggas. Nobody. That's all they fucking do. Sit at them fucking picnic tables and talk about motherfuckers that's free. Put motherfucking bad reputations and rumors on motherfuckers and shit. And motherfuckers like, man, where the fuck this shit came from? Them goofy ass niggas in jail and shit. That's where the fuck it come from. So I don't fuck with no jail niggas. I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with no jail niggas. Jail niggas be ignorant as fuck. They don't be on nothing, yo. They don't. They don't. I went. I got one state number from 1997. I never went back. I ain't that. The niggas that around me that continued to go back to jail, they been away for. They been out of my life. They been out of my life. I told one of my homies recently. He got his. He got his dribble right. He got his life together now. But I told him. I said that's why I wasn't fucking with you, my nigga. Like for like 10 years or some shit. Like 10, 12 years. This was my dude too. I. Wasn't fucking with you because you was going to jail and shit like that. So. He said, we here in Baltimore don't get recognized dudes from jail. I don't know, man. I just know them niggas don't be on no money. Them niggas don't be on no fucking money. They talk too fucking much. They gossip too much. They always talking about some old shit they did. You know what I mean? Like, man, shut the fuck up and do something, man. Like, don't nobody want to hear your fucking stories and just don't, don't come around me with that shit, man. I'm grown. I'm progressing. That's not who I am no more. I don't even want them type niggas around me, period. Like, straight up. That's like cancer to me. If you if you got that going on, 48 laws of power. Avoid the miserable and unlucky, man. Go. Word. He said Facebook has a lot of jail dudes. That's where you're going to find them at because they, they don't got much more than a phone and shit like that. Ba boom, boom, boom. He said Busy Bone, a real one. He said, I've been seeing dudes I went to high school with still bragging about their jail bitch, showing their prison IDs. Corny shit. Low lives. What's your take on welcome home and going in? Even a genius makes a mistake. So if you went to jail or you got caught or something like that and you, you know. I was never no coming home party type of nigga. Why would I want to party with a mother, bunch of motherfuckers who was just ignoring me? Why the fuck would I want to party and eat barbecue and food and shit with a bunch of motherfuckers that was just ignoring me? You just is writing letters to these motherfuckers, getting nothing back. Now you want to have a party with them. Like, I just never understood that shit. Like, <laughs> I just never understood it, man. Like, Nah, you can't give me no fucking party. I don't want no fucking party, man. The the the, the you, give me your your funding, the the money that you plan on 
you know, thrown away from this party, just give it to me. He said, bruh, be 50 years old, never owned a car, but wants to teach me about life. I will be mindful of who you take advice from and shit. Seriously. Mayor of New Jersey City and an NFL player was in the feds with me. Bone got crushed. And this ago man says, what happened to the police who shot Breonna Taylor? So many other people have gotten killed since then. Uh, the people who shot a, a mile are buried. They were convicted. The wheels of media keeps on turning. Breonna Taylor got buried by the next um, calamity that happened in the world and shit. That's what happened. A lot of former NFL dudes get busted trying to kick it in the streets. I got five former teammates from college with drug cases. A lot of square niggas went to, 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 to college and learned how to sell drugs and shit. I seen, that's kind of like big. That's kind of like big. That's like a real big thing. It is. Um, just as sure as you can go to the, to the Marvin Hagler fight in the 1980s and meet a plug, you might meet one at school. You might. He said, big facts. Most dudes come home from jail. The first thing they tell you is that you're not about that life, but they don't have a car or a place to stay. He said, hey, Gully, I like how you ignoring these hating ass bloggers. Keep doing your thing. I got these niggas beat. These niggas have zero going on. They impressing zero. They not impressing nobody. They not moving nowhere. Um, I'm going to become less confrontational as we go along because I'm escalating. I'm, I'm, I'm going places I've never been. I'm touching money I never had before. Everything is just fruitful over here right now and shit. So um, I don't care about them suffering ass, ignorant ass niggas and shit. I don't care. I don't care. Boom, boom, commerce, commerce. I'm a part of that. If you let's see if you can contribute, to, contribute or participate in that. Straight up. Boom, boom. Adrian Peterson has officially signed with the Seahawks. AP was that nigga for a minute. Gully said their arms ain't long enough to reach his elevation. Fuck no. Uh, fuck no. Hell no. I got books, podcasts, documentaries, merch, fly shit for sale, fashion bomb. I no threat. They pose no threat. They pose no threat, man. Girls be calling me, hitting me up. Like, yo, why do these corny ass niggas be making videos? About? Them niggas be corny as fuck. You see the shit they be wearing? It's... He said, Gully, you open my eyes on writing a book. Keep dropping gems. How did 3-6 Mafia win all... When all their songs sound exactly the same, they sound like they were lip syncing. They should, they, they music sound a little bit more fresh to me. I was looking for your book on Amazon. I couldn't find it. Send me the link. You got a better chance of getting pregnant. <laughs> if you want to, one thing I know about a consumer, if they want to buy something, they going to get it. Ain't no you couldn't find it. Ain't no you couldn't find it. You're not going to carry me like that. <laughs> it's 
Straight up. He said he couldn't find it. It's impossible. He says, sweet pea. I'd like to do that. You the only dude on social media that rep classic drip. I came here fresh. I seen um one of 38 best songs. He says something like, unlike y'all, I had a name before before rapping. Me too. Me too. Straight up. I didn't have no glow up here. All you seen was my platform continue to escalate, but um, physically seeing me in the physical, you don't see no period where I dress this way and I started to get fly or nothing like that. I don't have no timeline like that. My shit don't look like that. It don't. He said... We need a new punch OTF interview. I've spoken to him a couple times in regards to doing that. He seemed like he seemed like he wasn't in no hurry to do it. I've seen him on other platforms. I paid him money before in in, in the past. He didn't make money fucking with me. If I, if if I got if you got money fucking with me, I'm not gonna spend time talking to you much. And, I'm not. I'm not. If you ever if you ever got any money fucking with me, I'm not gonna spend much time fucking with I'm not gonna spend much time fucking with you because I know the platforms that he's been on, they don't got more bread than me. They not they not more capable of anything than me, for that matter. And he know me. He know me. And like I said, he didn't got money. He didn't got thousands of dollars fucking with me. I shouldn't have to ask him about coming over here. I shouldn't have to ask him anything. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that's moving like that, I just be done fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Boom, 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 boom. Pete Lomax, do I know you keep doing what you do? Love your channel. Thank you. My whole family, my mother's maiden name is Lomax. Where you from, pimp? What's your channel about kicking you up out of here for being ignorant? Kicking you up out of here. I don't like ignorant niggas around me. I don't. You got to go. You got, you got to go. I watch you just as much as MP ESPN from nothing to something. I appreciate your super chat. Follow me on Twitter at Gully TV one. Fo follow my website, the real dribble.com. Man, I got so much to get of this fucking game, man. Y'all have no idea. This shit just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I be in Buffalo all the time. I can't smoke on I can't smoke on here right now. I can't smoke on here no more. I got this uh I got this list of what they'll use to violate your um your video or your live stream. So I'm gonna try to comply with the rules for once. Miguel, thank you. How do you feel about the watering down of Ralph Lauren clothing? I don't like that new shit. I don't like that new polo shit. That shit with all them colors and shit, turquoise, pink and all of that. They taking the, they taking, they, they taking polo and they trying to take it into like a, I don't know, a hipster or this. I went in Walters and shit, right? In Atlanta. And I was disturbed and um, they like, what's up? I'm like, this shit look like Foot Locker now. That's not what we go to Walters for and shit. You know what I'm saying? So. 
I like things a certain I, I like things a certain traditional way and shit. The way polo is was just keep it like that. Don't start doing this funny shit. It's bad enough that they don't be having people to look like us in the room designing them clothes and shit like that. He said, I like the vintage polo on the classic, classic styles. Me too. I have no reason to lie about trying to buy your book. Then go buy it, man. It's called Some Things I've Been Through. It's all over the internet. It's all over the internet. You could even type Gully TV book and it's going to pop up. Like, I don't understand your dilemma. I don't. How do you feel about scheme? I don't even know who that is. Them days is over, man. I'm not, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't get these niggas. The dirty side of YouTube, I can't participate in it. It make the brand look bad. It do. Boom, boom, boom. My man said, Polo been my favorite since I was a teen. Rihanna is a national hero in Barbados. They hate that us people from the ghetto rock their polo gear. Boom, boom. He said, get the sign copy. Yeah, I got the sign copies on my website, therealdribble.com. That's, that's it. He said, Gully, we need a Farrakhan interview. I solicited a Farrakhan interview some years ago, right? And, um... My mother been in a nation of Islam almost 40 years, paying cha uh, charity, the number two poor charity. The nation of Islam got something similar to tithes, where the members pay tithes, like in church. They got these dues almost. My mom been paying them shits for 40 years. I shouldn't have to ask nobody for no fucking interview. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. We devout members of the Nation of Islam and shit. We down. We all the way down. It shouldn't be no red tape. It shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't about to go through all of that. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't. I wasn't. I'm on some man shit straight up. Like, I interviewed Dr. Wesley Muhammad. That's, that's as far as they let me get up the chain. He said, once you get that X, you gotta pay so many dues. Shouldn't be no 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 financial situation tied to participating in any form of spirituality. Organized religion is full of shit. I believe they all about some money. They mostly are. You know what I mean? Um, being righteous and, and doing right, that's embedded in us already. You know right from wrong and shit. That's the godly spirit placed in you already and shit. All of this other fuck fuck shit be going on in the world. The less the less niggas in the room, the better. Believe that. Do you hear about the fourteen year old kid in Philly shot eighteen times? Pray for Philly. It's like devilish spirit over there right now. He said Dianetics was doing their thing in Harlem. I was confused about that whole situation. I'm 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 <laughs> I self Lord and Master. How about that? My man said them 30s is 60 a pop now. Philly going crazy. So you saying a lot of the a lot of the reason for the spike in homicides is the drug situation. A lot of people running around on pills and shit. It's a part of the opioid epidemic. Hmm.
y'all share this live stream, man. I'm gonna give y'all a few more minutes. I appreciate y'all for coming through the the, the, the uh, comments. Is like moving kind of fast and shit. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for coming through. I'm about to get up out of here. He said, I'm from the 580. Philly always been dangerous. It's just different. These kids playing by different rules. You hear about the Astro World documentary? No, but I know it's coming. Peace. Watch Dope Sick on Hulu. They had a legal drug dealing biz. Still do. I see YouTubers tightening up, y'all YouTubers. Wow. I got all of the fucking, uh, I had to write them down. All of the, the little things that could complicate your situation with YouTube is a lot, like inappropriate language. Cuss, that's a rap. That's a rap. Do you rock with a tonic? Of course. How would you flip $1,000 right now? I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I hope I ain't keep y'all up too late. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Clarence Savant, I hope he finds justice. I hope his heart is healed. It's a terrible situation happened with his wife, philanthropist Jack uh, Jacqueline Avant. And um. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all for coming through. He said, did you hear about another mass shooting? And I, man, it ain't safe. Gary, what's up? Long time no see. All right, I'm out.